Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about JPEG versus RAW. Which one's best for you and what's the difference? Right after this. Have you ever considered the reason you don't know what you want to do is simply because you haven't done enough things? Hello and welcome back to the first video of 2022. If you're new around here, my name is Joe. I am not your average Joe and I'm a Marine Corps veteran, turn creator, and you know what I do here? I help empower people like you to find the creator within and turn passion into purpose. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about RAW versus JPEG. First and foremost, it's not as complicated as everybody seems to be making it. What is a RAW file? So a raw file is just simply a file in your camera that holds all the information taken during the setting of an exposure. So basically what that is, is whenever you're taking a picture, a raw is just all that information packed into one file that typically tends to be a big file. And JPEG is just that same file just compressed down um, into a smaller file that just contains a little less data. That's all. That's it. It's just a file. They're different file sizes. So one of them is going to be, think of it like Dwayne The Rock Johnson versus Kevin Hart. With that being said, I know I've done a lot of talking. Let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. Let's go snap some photos and I'll kind of explain it. I'll, I'll give you some examples. <laughs> And just like that, that's a wrap on the photos. So now let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons of each. So the pros for JPEG are as follows. It is a smaller file size, so it's easily shareable. Like you can text it to your friends and you can upload it to social media pretty, pretty easily and pretty quickly. And the other thing is the processing is done for you. You don't have to edit and, and do all this tweaking. You can potentially take it from your camera and put it into your edit editing software and it's going to look mm, mostly how it did when you took that photo, um, but it does take a lot of that stylistic decisions that you're making as a photographer out. So it's great for beginners. If you don't want to mess with white balance, you don't want to sharpen the image and you don't want to deal with, you know, the contrast or, or just coloring the image, the saturation, stuff like that. And so if you're just trying to get in and especially if you're a beginner photographer trying to get into manual exposure and everything like that, JPEG can be something that can help that be less intimidating. And with the pros come the cons and with the JPEG, the cons are as follows. You're going to have a loss of detail in that image. You're not going to have as much information to work with. You're going to have a, a lower dynamic range and you're just not going to have as much colors and control over what the image is going to look like. Basically, the camera is going to make all of the decisions for you. And let's go ahead and get into the real and raw of it, if you will. The pros to raw file sizes I mean, basically you just get so much more flexibility. You're able to push the images farther. You're able to have so much more information on the highlights and the shadows. And, and what is that going to do? That is just to break it down simply is if you're in a situation where it's really bright, but you've got 
some some really dark areas you're going to be able to capture those a lot easier and potentially get both of those in your image without having to wait for sunset or without having to light the darker subjects you're able to push it a lot farther whereas with the jpeg it's you're not going to be able to get you know the best of both worlds it's not hannah montana here uh, the other thing is you have way more control of what happens in that photo so now you're controlling everything you know with the camera, with the settings, and in, in, in the editing. So you're gonna be able to choose how that image is colored. You're gonna be able to choose the exposure of that. You're gonna have a much higher dynamic range, and you're gonna have much more color detail, and there's just going to be a lot a lot more room for error, we'll put it. With JPEG, if it's under or overexposed, you're not gonna be able to bring it back as, as much as you will with RAW. You can overexpose or underexpose an image and still get you know you can still have a lot of flexibility with it and make it look pretty good you can adjust the the color profile you can adjust the white balance there's a lot that goes into raw images and with again with the pros come the cons and the cons for the raw you know file sizes are just the fact that you're gonna have to process that image you're gonna have to edit it and you're gonna have to kind of put your own unique look on it. You're not gonna be able to just take it from the camera, slap it up on social media. You're gonna have that larger file size and you're gonna have to make sure that your editing software is compatible with raw files. But if you are in you know, photography and in the video space and you're, you're creating different things for that, you know, you should be good to go. Adobe Lightroom is gonna be really great to use raw files with and Photoshop's gonna be fine with raw files. And so just, just kind of look into your software and go from there. And one thing to keep in mind is that if you're trying to find your style as a photographer, RAW is going to be the way to go. RAW is going to give you something, a canvas that you can go ahead and, I don't want to say manipulate, but you'll be able to take that photo and make it your own. You'll be able to put an edit on there that when people see your photos, they won't even have to see your name or your picture attached to that photo. They'll just know that it is yours.